Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Mars Hydro SP250 and the pH hydroponic experiment with jalapeno pepper plants. Now this is episode two and there's not a whole lot to go over but this is day seven and like I said with the heat mat that I was using for the germination it was sprouting about seven days and what we have here underneath this cover is sprouts. We got two there in that container, we got one there and we got two in that container. Uh, nothing on the one on the left just yet. Uh, and this is kind of why I do multiple plants uh, when I start off experiments because it gives me better choice to uh, for everything to kind of be all as even as possible. So for right now, the heat mat is unplugged and I am still gonna leave this cover on just a little bit longer. Uh, but what I usually like to do when the sprouts have already emerged, uh, just so the humidity isn't too high, what I'll actually do is just kind of offset the cover a little bit kind of like, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but I'm gonna hold it right here for now. I'll take care of it after the video's done recording, but it'll just kind of offset it like this just a little bit. So that way there's a gap here and a gap there and then get more airflow, but it still maintains enough moisture so it doesn't all evaporate. Um, in a couple days, what I'm actually going to do is uh, mix up the solutions, uh, adjust the pH, and then put them in their respective containers. As far as the light goes, um, there's two things you want to talk about. One is the color temperature. Now, if I compare this to the other, other lights that I've used, these light strips, uh, the QG LED light strips, um, compared to those, if, you, if you've seen other videos like that before, and it's going to look different on camera with the white balancing and everything, but to my eye, what I can tell you is um, this light is a, a very white-looking light. Um, it doesn't have that natural sunlight look uh, that I've seen in the other light strips that I use in past videos. Uh, it's very, very white looking. And that's just to the eye. It's, it's going to be different, obviously, for what plants actually utilize. But um, just to what I'm looking at here, it's very, very white. Uh, it reminds me of a, it's, it's very similar to metal halide, if you ask me. Um, how will that affect the results? I don't know. This is what the point of the, this whole video series is, just see how they grow and also to test the pH. And we can do that all in one, one video series, which is cool. So... The Meanwell driver up here, I actually unscrewed it and you take this off very carefully to show you. Underneath here, I have this dimmed down right there, the one on the left, it says VOADJ, that's voltage adjustment. Um, I just turned that down so that this light's only using 100 watts right now. And uh, its normal setting is about 230 watts. So I have it adjusted a little less than half and I just moved it closer to the seedlings. There's no reason to waste a bunch of energy uh, to start seedlings off. So when these get larger, I'm going to turn the light up to its full power. But doing it like this is also good too because it, it makes everything last longer. It doesn't run as hot, less chance of burning out diodes. So um, that's really about it for this episode. You know, it was really quick. Uh, Episode three, we're going to talk a little bit more about this, how I'm going to make this solution, or by the time you guys see it, probably have already made this solution. I'll kind of mention it in that video. So that's about it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in episode three.